Good evening, it's the 24th of April 2015, welcome to Essex United Kingdom. Had a very nice day today, been about 20 degrees C here, a lovely evening as well, you can hear the birds singing, and um, the purpose of today's video is to show you a little bit of uh, apple tree grafting which I've been doing today. So, this is a very good book, Grafting Fruit Trees, by Larry Southwick has uh, all the basics of grafting, <coughs> which you should need to get started. Um, also here, I have an Open All 6 knife, which I purchased from Amazon. And here, we have some flower arranging tape, which I also purchased from Amazon. So, um, none of this was expensive. And also here, I have some good old-fashioned secateurs. Now, uh, these are the uh, implements I've used for my grafting. So, I'll start here. This was a tree that I purchased about two or three years ago from a bargain supermarket for four pounds. This is a Bramley apple tree, so you can see that there. And what I've done with this is I've grafted some other varieties onto it. So, here, we'll start at the bottom, I've grafted a court pendu plat onto here, you can see there with the tape, using a splice graft. I have put sun tan onto this one here, using a splice graft also. Winter king onto here, using a splice graft. So, we have Winter King, which is a long keeping apple. Sun Tan here. And we have Court Pendu Plat, which is believed to be the oldest apple in cultivation. So, uh, should these take, there should be four varieties on this tree, which I'll be very happy about. The, uh, the only downside is it never said on the uh, label what rootstock this apple tree is on. But um, it's in a pot at the moment, and when I have a place to, to put it, I will put it in the ground. So that's that one. Now here, variety Irish peach, an early apple, and I used a form of cleft graft. For this and here onto another root stock I have grafted another court pendu plat you can see that there and there are these other shoots around it I might uh, graft some more varieties onto it you can see here this is a graft I did last year there that's successful, it's starting to leaf out this year, just here, and that's a Winter King. It's all being well, that will have a Winter King on it, and a Court Pendu Plat, so I'll be very happy with that. And this one here, I've shown this variety before, this is a Lord Lambourne that I grafted last year, already starting to leaf out, very nice. There we go. I've grafted a Winter King onto that using a cleft graft. So, and I may decide to graft another variety onto this tomorrow or, or something like that. So, um, yeah, you can see here that um, I'm trying to graft maybe more than one onto each root stock. This is very useful, particularly if you've got a smaller garden, because you can get more than one variety on, the, on one tree. So this can also be beneficial for fertility. You can you can graft varieties of the same pollination group onto the same onto the same tree. So if you only have room for one tree, you can increase your fertility of your trees in uh, in that manner. So it's definitely uh, a beneficial thing to do, and also it's very good as well because you can preserve older varieties. Okay, so uh, that's where I'm at with my grafting. All the best. Thank you.